What are y'all doing? I am actually waiting for my Valentino Beauty brow pin to be delivered so I can finish my brows. Um, this one's gonna look a little bit thinner than the other one for a second because it needs, it needs, it needs fixed. But I'm literally waiting on it. Okay, I wanna use this today. I love this blue, I love the greens, and I love the peach, and I love this color. Um, let's go. Let's <laughs> I'm so excited. I blow dried my hair and my cheeks get so hot and so does my chest when I do it. So we're gonna have to fix this later with green corrector. So that's gonna be fun. I wanna just switch things up. I think it'll be really fun to use these. Now these are not going to be a tacky base, but I wanna teach y'all and I wanna branch out. I even wanna branch out from what I normally do. And I wanna teach y'all some new techniques, how we can use the liquid shadows with our powder shadows. So let's do it. So these are from Half Magic and I love these colors and this formula. So what we're gonna do, no base. I have no base on whatsoever. And I actually, I wanna make sure that I'm not applying this on top of too much eye cream. So let's just make sure that that's not too wet. And then we'll just kind of throw this in the crease. Isn't that color pretty? It excites me. So I'm gonna take an E27. We need a smaller brush. And we're gonna to start to pull this over this way. Um, this one has a lot longer dry time, this particular formula, and I really like that about it. So we can take our time and really blend it. The other ones that I've been using recently, they dry very quickly. So if you're looking for something really beginner friendly, these are really nice because you have a lot of time to blend. By the way, I'm gonna add a little bit more just for some intensity because I'm trying to create a transition out of it. So I want it darker in the socket and then transition it to kind of that cloudy, look how pretty that is because the skin's peeking through the top part, not the crease. We want the crease to be pretty opaque. Yes. Now we're gonna grab this shade and we're gonna press that into our liquid shadow. Ooh, look at the sparkle. And now I wanna transition it into kind of more of a cloudy blue, but still with my skin. That's so pretty. This is gonna be fun. This is one of my wild looks. Um, we're still gonna be learning, but this palette is so inspiring me that I have to get, it's, it's, it's inspiring me so much is what I was trying to say, that I need to create this look. I have these ideas of these colors I wanna to put together and I'm excited for it. Picking up some more. Transition this a little bit more. Oh, there you go. By the way, if you do wanna grab this palette, I'm gonna leave the link and I do have a commission code. So I'll make a small commission if you use it, uh, but my code is Rose. And I know this is this is a very playful um, palette. These are, this, this is a wild color story, but it's a lot of fun. So if you want to grab it, you could use my code. Now let's get wild. I'm wiping off my brush on Sheila and let's grab this color and we're gonna tap that over here. I love makeup so much. We have micellar water on our C30 and we'll, we're just gonna clean up our lid space. Satisfying. Do you see how that pink, when you layered it on top of that blue, it kind of gives it a really pretty lavender. So it looks like there's one, two, three, and then four colors on our eye right now. I'm really just trying to see how many I can fit on here. <laughs> we're just, we're painting. Okay, what I want you to think of this look as, I want you to think of it as watercolor painting. So all of these colors, I don't care. If you want to put them together, they can go together. Did you know that? I get that question a lot. Can you show us how to get colors or pick colors that all go together. Well, you know what? This goes with this, and then it's gonna go with this, and then it can go with this. 
and you just have to think of it as a watercolor painting so i'm taking again sorry i didn't show you i'm excited let's grab this green and i'm just pressing that on the outer part over here you'll see that it's transitioning into the blue that's fun we're having fun so i'm using this eyeshadow base and the reason why is because i'm going to use a shimmer so i still need something tacky but what i don't mind is if my undertone and my skin tone change the color of the eyeshadow. I almost want that. I want this to be a very cloudy look, um, very ethereal, um, see-through, if you will. So many adjectives. <laughs> so I think we'll start with this shade. We're gonna grab it on E27, and that's gonna go in the center. And I also don't mind if this kind of feathers itself into the crease here. That looks so pretty to me. So much fun. So I like the idea of my bare lid, but what I wanna do is I wanna soften that shadow that's in the center of our lid. I want to soften it over this way. I'm honestly just relaxing here. <laughs> and I want to soften it over this way. This is so cool to me. Now, listen, we're gonna grab this color. And I thought it would be fun to add this just to the top part of our lid and at the very bottom of our crease. I'm not gonna take it down here though. I don't wanna cover up that skin. I think the skin's really cool. And just do that on the sides. This is a really good tip. Remember our micellar water? I'm not gonna add any more, but I want to remind y'all that it's okay to come back in and clean things up at this point. I'm gonna let this run so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to grab that same brush that we just used to kind of feather this back over this way a little bit. And we want that skin to peek through. But I didn't want that green to go down so far. So now we're going to use this gray liner. So smudgy too. It's so good. I already did this. I need to finish it up a little bit, but it's so nice. Plus, I love a gray liner. We're going to go into... <laughs> it's my first day doing makeup. <laughs> We're going to go into this color now. And I just kind of tap that on top. And then to extend, we're going to want this shorter side to face our temple. That way the brush just does the work for us. And then we're going to turn it back this way tap and smooth, just kind of blur these edges a little. Now I'm going to clean up the edges with micellar water and a C30. So I know that this is probably out of most of y'all's uh, idea of fun, pretty makeup. <laughs> but also when I'm doing looks like this, I want you to know that I'm trying my best to try as many colors in this palette as possible just to make sure that they're all performing nicely. That way I can give you all a verdict. I don't want y'all to go buy this palette and it be an absolute hot, feral mess and not the good kind. <laughs> so I just wanna just put as many colors on my eye as possible. I think my brow pin's here. I'm so excited. I hear, it has to be. Douglas is confirming right now. <laughs> We're still painting. Let's take this color and we're just gonna apply this right in the center. I don't mind if this is light in the center. I thought it'd just be fun. I'm a butterfly. But this is exactly what this collection reminds me of and that's why I got so excited about it. Oh, that's so pretty. Just in the center. I have it. And look what else he brought me. He brought me a cup of coffee. <laughs> what more could I want? You know, it actually worked out today because my shadow went up so high. So I was just able to draw my little brow hairs kind of on top of that shadow. So good things. So everyone's going absolutely feral in the best way over the palette. Um, 
we don't we don't do hype here we don't do that but i will say ColourPop does do pretty limited um, batches of their collections recently so if you're thinking about it now is probably a good time to get it so don't hesitate if your makeup heart absolutely needs it only if if that's what if only if you need it <laughs> if not there'll be something else but i really like this um it's cute to me so i don't want to cover up too much of the shadow so i'm going to use my moonlight lashes today I'm swiping my tweezers off that's a really good tip y'all whenever you're pressing like this and pressing them into the lash line it's good to wipe that glue off in between or you could risk kind of it sticking here and then pulling that lash back off all right let's finish the brows really quickly um i'm just going to draw it's been driving me insane oh i love it fresh brow pen do you see just a few hairs can make such a huge difference So I'm really going lighter here, and then as I get into the brow hair, that's when I get it a little bit darker. So I'll use more pressure. I'm actually gonna hold this a little further back. The farther back we hold it, the lighter the pressure. And then I need to finish filling in this front part over here. Um, if this isn't sold out, the Sephora savings event started today for Rouge. Check my last post for the other dates. But if this isn't sold out, add this to your cart. It's my absolute favorite pin. Since this color, remember this one that we put on? Since this one is kind of the least dominant, I think we'll do that color on our waterline. This is also from ColourPop. Pretty. Okay, so my cheek kind of unflared, so I don't think we're gonna need to color correct. Just had to give me a second to tell you I'm in the battle in that Dyson. I do love my Dyson, but I have a lot of hair. A lot of hair. And it works out perfectly, but it's still a battle. I mean, it's just a battle. <laughs> so I do want to make sure that my undertone is nice and pink. These are, I'm using this because this as my base bronzer contour. It's even got me into highlighter. 10 out of 10. The sale started today. I'm going to go get the link. I'm just going to go get the link because it excites me so much. And you can get, if you're Rouge, you can get 20% off of this right now. I just love it so much. That being said, if I'm doing full coverage and I'm going a lot more full coverage with this, I don't have to worry as much about my undertone. Um, but I want to make sure that the undertone is perfectly pink to my skin, especially right now because I'm a little bit pinker here. This is going to be wild. But y'all are going to learn something. So if you have a neutral or pink undertone like me, describe your most strawberry cream blush. Okay. This is going to be wild. Please understand that this is color theory. And I know you're going, you're just making everything more red. You're going to see why. I'm going to do one side here and we're going to look at it. That way you can kind of see my undertone over here without the pink. I'm gonna put some on my forehead too. Tiniest amount. Oh, such a tiny amount. Really quickly, let me explain it a little bit more because I don't want it to be like, look how cool. Um, so whenever you're wanting your foundation to absolutely not look like you're wearing foundation, it has to be spot on to your undertone. So I've even had questions like, I feel like when you added your mixers, it looks like less coverage. That's not the case. The case is that undertone is so perfect. It looks thin. It looks like nothing is there, but our redness is going to be concealed. Um, everything is going to be concealed. Spots, whatever you have that needs to be concealed. But what happens, it's so perfect that it almost just disappears. I hope you'll understand that. So we're gonna use this shade as our foundation. You'll see it's a little warm, but once you bring everything back, um, it when you're doing that very full coverage, it looks seamless, but I'm not gonna do as much. I'm probably not even gonna to contour today. And I don't want as much as I normally wear. 
We need a C42. I'm just gonna come up close. Look at this. <laughs> I'll tell you what you're gonna do over here on my page. You're gonna learn. <laughs> now we're gonna start to work this in. And I'm not, it's not that it added redness to anything because it's gonna mix in with that foundation. It's just making, ooh, look at that. Look at that already. We get that coverage, but it just makes sure that it's my absolute perfect undertone and then it looks like we're wearing next to nothing. Again, this doesn't matter as much when we're going more full coverage, but we're not going as full coverage today. Did y'all hear those jingle bells? I'm actually babysitting my neighbor's puppy dog. That's her jingling around. Mine, my babies are in their beds. Cool, right? While I blend this out, I was reading the reviews for this. This is the C42. I was reading them on the website and it absolutely warms my heart. I think of these brushes as a little extension of myself during your makeup routine. And I want them to be as helpful as I am here every day. And it just warms my heart that y'all feel that way. You feel like these are helping your routine and just making makeup more fun. Makes me happy. All right, I'm gonna hop off and film something because a lot of you tagged me in a video. Um, I forget who the artist was, but I will have them tagged because I have the video. But it was about concealer and then blending your, I don't, I don't even know what makeup it, I'm out of control but blending your setting powder in to set it. I don't know. We're gonna go see, but I will be right back. All right, let's finish up the face. I'm excited. You know what? I wanna get wild and skip bronzer because I kinda do. I kinda do, because I wanna do this ombre situation. <laughs> so, Really quickly, I did the technique, and I'm gonna wear it for about two hours to see, but I did one side with a puff, and then I did the other side with that technique that I saw, and I already have thoughts. I have some thoughts. But I'm gonna wear it for at least two hours, so moving on. Me looking for a C41. <laughs> so let's grab the lighter shade first. Oh, I'm so excited, I hope these are pretty. This is called Oh Dear. And it is a matte, so we're gonna take the lighter shade. I went in one, two, and I'm gonna start here. Okay. I haven't set the rest of my face. I wasn't sure what, what how I was gonna set it, what I was doing, what I was using. That's so pretty. I'm gonna do one more tap in. So pretty. Can I give you a tip on the C41 as well? Um, because I'm going a little higher, I need to work this. See how that sticks out a little bit? I'm using very loose terms, but this is how I would have understood it many years ago. Um, see how that sticks out a little bit there? I'm gonna grab the blush there, just on that more front part area at first, and I'm kind of letting the brush do the work for me. I have had a few of you DM me and say, um, the brush is a little bit big, do you have any tips? It's big for a reason, because what we're doing is we're learning how to use different parts of that brush for different things. So you're about to see me grab this brush, I'm mean, sorry, this blush in just a second, I'm gonna grab it on a different part. So I'm not always just going in directly like this. I want to use the different angles to my advantage. I got too excited and didn't tell you the name of this one. This is Silence. Silence! <laughs> it's really, <laughs> that's really how it's pronounced. <laughs> so now we're gonna pick it up. See, we're not going like this. We're gonna go more over here. And it's not that complicated once you figure it out, okay? So now we want that blush. Oh, there you go, you can see it. We want it more towards from here down. And we're gonna kind of ombre into that. 
and then the brush is hugging my face. So we don't really want the blush to go past here. A little bit is okay, but we want to keep the majority of that pigment from here, see that side of my nose, here, up. And that's what gives us that lift. And the brush just does that because it's literally cupping my cheekbone. I'm telling y'all, I thought of everything with these brushes. I thought of daggum everything. Oh, and you know what's funny? A lot of y'all ask what's in my cup. I, if you ever see this cup, the only thing that's in this cup is water and lemon. I drink water and lemon. I don't even know how many of these I drink a day. And I feel like that's important for y'all to know because I drink a lot of water, a lot. Now we're just gonna take this color and I this one, I don't even know, I'm too excited. And I just brightened up the front part with that color and then I wiped my brush on Sheila, or Sheila. I don't know, but I swear Sheila's mobile. She runs around. And then I'm gonna grab this on the side of the brush and I'm just gonna press this kind of out this way just to kind of mimic that. We're fully in Wonderland today. I kind of wanna watch the movie now. I don't even remember the last time I saw it. All right, let's finish up the eye. Let's go back into our half magic. We're gonna grab an E27 because we want a very tiny amount. This stuff is so pigmented. This particular color just makes my makeup heart sing. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. It's always better to build than it is to add too much all at once. Ooh, look how it made that pink, purpley amethyst color pop. <laughs> Shadow stick in full of wonder on the inner corner. Perfect. Mm. 10 out of a 10. <laughs> I love. So we're gonna use this lip duo. This is called Most Curious, there's Alice. And we're just gonna put a little bit of this on. That's fine. Okay, but I do want a lip liner. I just don't know which one. And I don't, I don't want this to be as intense, so I'm gonna tap it out with my finger first. Let's do Makeup Forever Endless Cacao. I thought a cool tone lip liner would be, would be cool with it. No pun intended. Maybe a little bit. So I've tried the translucent, but I haven't tried the shade light, and then I ordered the shade pink, and then I never got the shade pink because I ordered it from Macy's, and apparently it's somewhere floating around in the Macy's warehouse. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my puff, and I'm just gonna lightly set the rest of my face. I haven't set it at all yet, aside from underneath my eyes. And remember, we did that different technique on one side, and I just, I don't know. We're, we're checking that out. I'm grabbing some more on the puff. And I'm just gonna go, and this is gonna blur it even more. See? Hey, I think I like this powder. I, I, oh, I have the Givenchy, shade number three underneath my eyes. And I don't think I, I haven't even tried this underneath my eyes, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like it underneath my eyes, but to set the rest of my face, I, it is blurring. I like it. Okay, so we're topping it with the gloss I have it on my bottom lip. And I have an alcohol wipe because I do want to use the applicator. I like to um, kind of see how it goes on, but I'm wiping it here on my alcohol wipe in between because I don't want to change the color. I dropped it, but I love it. Ooh. And we're all finished. I love this look so much. Thank you so much for letting me do these types of looks because they just, they complete me. Okay, I love y'all so much. I have so much to do. Fun stuff, but stuff nonetheless. I need to go do those things. I love you with all of my heart and I'll see you tonight in the comments. Okay, now I'm gonna go edit that look that I had on yesterday. Remember that one um, with the pink lid? I'm gonna go edit that and edit a few more things. I love this collection. I love it so much. I wanna do a look with this color next. I, I just think it's so pretty and I, we love ColourPop because they are so consistent and definitely uh, more affordable. So I hope y'all enjoy today. Um, I am not gonna wash my face for a second because I did that technique underneath my eye. I wanna see how it wears. So I'm gonna keep this on and I'm probably going to just stare into the mirror at my eyeshadow for a good two hours. 